Welcome to Basketball Talk Pro. I'm Ron Eckert. Uh, I feel we really have a, an important um, show today. Uh, first of all, though, I want to mention to you at the very end of it, uh, I have two clips I took from the Miami uh, Heat and Indiana Pacer game uh, on two subjects that I think in uh, as we go along in Basketball Talk Pro, we will be talking a lot more about. But these clips uh, will, they're just a, a minute or so long, uh, will show you uh, the beginning, the original uh, thinking uh, on an area that I think is uh, very important to you uh, as we go along uh, with your coaching career. Uh, now I have two pretty important announcements. One, uh, I've been asked uh, quite a few times about by high school coaches having problems with dealing with parents and uh, questionable player attitudes. Uh, I have told all of those that, you know, something I really don't feel qualified to speak about. I did spend two years as a high school coach. Uh, and of course, you know, we had uh, the uh, interference of parents uh, questioning, uh, you know, they all want their child to play. Um, but um, it really was not a, not a serious thing. And to tell you the truth, in basketball coaching, you're always going to deal with some kind of problem. It's either parents or alumni or owners or fans, media, uh, questioning you. Uh, but because I didn't feel qualified enough, uh, I, I talked to a man by the name of Don Showalter. Uh, Don is a long time, very successful high school coach in Iowa. He's also connected with USA Basketball. He does clinics all over the world. Uh, he's got a tremendous background. Uh, and I spoke to him about the problem. Uh, he uh, explained to me, you know, his own situation, how he handles it. But he will be on, and I think it will come on probably next week sometime. So those of you who have expressed interest to me about these problems, you want to make sure and, and uh, watch that show. Now, the main uh, announcement that I'm happy to make uh, today uh, I think it's uh, like Basketball Talk Pro, I think is historical. Uh, we started something that has grown uh, and I think it's, it has reached out to a lot of coaches and I think it will reach out to a lot more in years uh, to come. Uh, but one of the things that I see in basketball is the growth of statistical analysis. Uh, I think there's uh, a lot of uh, uh, reaching out and thinking about and uh, in many cases it's uh, become almost a, a part of coaching that will be a necessity but really there's no training uh, for this uh, and you know coaches don't take statistic courses in college and uh, or their education a lot of uh, people do, you know aren't are coaching that I have never even taken anything in coaching. Uh, but uh, I felt, um, I've worked with it for 30 years, and uh, I felt that there was a need for something practical, something that coaches uh, can use. Uh, I don't know of any uh, thing like what we're going to do, and that is a, a, a course uh, in um, use of basketball statistics. The course is called Measuring Basketball Performance. You, some of you will remember the name. We did a webinar, uh, an, an hour-long webinar on, on the subject. Um, but this is an eight-hour, uh, an eight-lesson course. There are 29 lectures. Uh, but that is what that is, is each lesson is broken up into anything from three to five segments uh, so they're not too uh, too long and it covers then uh, 29 of those segments and we call them uh, in this situation lectures 
uh, I think it's very important to your career. I believe that in five to ten years, if you don't have a, a background, and this is the only course I know of in the world uh, that will give you uh, that background, but if you don't have it, I think you will be limited, uh, if not eliminated, in your career. Uh, so this is, um, I think, a, a very important step. Basketball Talk Pro is built out of the box. Uh, I know that there's interest because I get uh, requests for partnering with uh, people, uh, people that want to partner with it because it's uh, turned out to be an approach that is usable and that coaches uh, will reach out to. Uh, I think this uh, course that we're uh, putting on uh, will be the same. It's an online course. You work at your own speed. Uh, you, you have no deadlines, uh, but you do have to take it in order. Uh, and I, I want you to know it's very practical. I see a lot of things, and there's a lot of people anxious to make money uh, with different types of applications and everything. Uh, but a lot of it is really uh, things coaches don't use. This is usable, and I can just attest to that because it's how it grew over 30 years. These are things that um, myself and my assistants developed uh, as we were trying to win games under the pressure of winning games uh, to make our team better, to find ways uh, to uh, cre create uh, offenses, defenses, solving problems. Uh, we went through a lot. There's a, a hundreds and thousands of hours that we have put in uh, doing that uh, type of work. And, it, and it, it proved to be very, very effective. Uh, a lot of people are using things now that they don't even think about. Uh, that we developed through, uh, th through this type of work. So this is really practical. This isn't classroom. Uh, this is on the floor uh, type of statistics. Nothing to worry about. It uh, covers eight key areas. I believe that every coach should be uh, very uh, astute in these eight areas and that will help them uh, be a better coach. The math is very simple. I use the word math instead of statistics because that's what it is. Uh, any eighth grade student can handle the math in these, uh, in these uh, eight lessons. Uh, along with that, uh, besides taking, you know, this is an online course, uh, we will, to, to give us more of a chance to talk, to be uh, together, uh, to give uh, people a chance to ask questions. Uh, we'll have two meetings per month. Uh, they won't be mandatory. You come if you have questions or if you want to uh, just listen. Uh, and um, uh, But it gives you a chance to hear what other people might be asking about and to work out problems if you're having them uh, in the course. Along with that, we have they, uh, each, uh, each student will get uh, uh, supplemental materials. Um, we have to do it differently because of the, uh, the technology. Uh, it's kind of a guidebook. Uh, there will be a, 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 a little uh, summary of each uh, lesson. Uh, but along with that, uh, we will provide you with approximately 14 different forms. Each one of those forms are used in uh, the, the different lessons uh, so that when you're done, you will have forms uh, that you can use uh, for the, the uh, areas that we, uh, we're dealing with. And at the end, um, I will provide you with a certificate uh, that you can use uh, with uh, 
get your administrators or if you're job hunting uh, that shows that you've completed this course and what you are capable of doing statistically. Don't underrate this. The day will come when that will be an important part of your resume. Uh, it may give you an edge uh, on the per people you're competing with for a better job, uh, a bigger step, uh, if that's what you want. Um, but more than that, it'll be, it'll be, you will be trained to uh, help yourself and help your, uh, your own uh, team. Uh, the course is going to be uh, uh, run through a company called Udemy. It would be prohibitive for me, money-wise, to, uh, to do it uh, on, a, on my own uh, type of uh, platform. Uh, this company uh, specializes in putting on uh, instructional videos like this. And uh, they handle uh, almost everything. The, the uh, registration, the, uh, the fees, and everything. Uh, and so I could not do it or, uh, without, without having a platform like that. So that company uh, will handle uh, everything. There is a price for this, um, uh, this course. Uh, it's $160. That's about $20 a lesson. Uh, I don't think that's out of line, but I'm making. I want you to be aware because I'm very. Uh, I, I want you to take this course. Anybody who's a member of Basketball Talk Pro will get a 20 uh, percent discount on that $160. Uh, I think it's about $32, uh, so that the course then would be $128. But I have a special introductory offer. Um, that uh, will go on until May 15th. Anybody who registers for the course uh, at, by May 15th uh, will, uh, we will uh, knock off much more uh, and sell the course to them for $99. Uh, those people deserve a bigger uh, discount because they're, they're moving in an area that's unknown. Uh, to them. Uh, but once uh, people have taken the course and can certify that this is a legitimate course, uh, which it is, uh, you know, uh, I can't keep that course, uh, I can't keep that price uh, forever, but we will give it to anybody who registers by uh, May 15th. Well, that's it. Um, it's going to be a lot of more information coming in the next five to six days. Uh, right now, it, it, you can't, it's not available. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, it's in review now with you, you, Demi. But if everything goes right, by the end of the week, you should be able to register uh, if you have uh, interest. So much more information will be coming. Now, I have those two clips I'd like you to take a look at. Uh, because you will hear more about the, the subjects in the, uh, in the uh, future. So let's now go to those two clips between the Miami Heat uh, and the Indiana Pacers and uh, take a look, at uh, a quick look, at uh, two areas that I think you should be concerned with as a coach. So let's look at the clips. Here's a shot uh, that I'd like you to see uh, because uh, what I want you to look at is the physical play on uh, Indiana by Miami. Uh, and when the cut takes place, uh, how easy it is without having to put up with all that pushing and shoving when you're cutting. So let me just um, bring you through this. 6% shooting and 10 and a half boards. Watch down here. <coughs> the play here. Uh, West uh, being guarded in the post. But you see it. And watch here. 
value on the last James Drott. Uh, I mean, it, it just gets to be a rugby match. Watch, watch this. Now, about this time, I'm sitting there and in my mind, ye almost yelling, uh, cut, somebody cut. Uh, and you'll see, uh, West must have heard me. See how physical it is? Now watch West. West is guarding James on this possession. George off the dribble right. chase by Battier. Here. See. Cutting. And in this film, by the end of the game, both teams were cutting because it had, and, and the physical play just left, and we got to watch some really good basketball. They find West inside. Beautiful look from Paul George on the Pacers' offense. Okay, we have a shot here that I want to show you on rebounding. I, I just don't understand uh, the concept of this uh, at all. Uh, I think that's James in the corner going to take the shot. I'm going to look at here. We've got five guys pretty much. You know, if these guys drop down a little bit between uh, the ball and the basket, we got people standing around the outside. Here, that's the rest of the red team. Now, the shot goes up. There's the shot. Nice contest. It really wasn't a very good time to take a shot. But now look. Here's one, two, three, four, five defensive players right in the ready for the uh, the uh, rebound. These guys, they're leaving. They're just taking off. Uh, and um, let me take it. Really now, what do you got there? You got five yellows in there. If we put three reds right around them, uh, why couldn't those reds run back as fast as these guys could fast break. So why not put three guys in there and take a crack at getting a rebound? But to me, this is just uh, almost criminal. Uh, there's no effort at all to get an offensive rebound. You're giving these guys uh, defensive rebounds. We'll play it out now. I, it's uh, something I, I, I wanted to show you because it's something I think uh, we need to talk about. Shot, yeah. I don't understand why three reds in there, three reds in here, couldn't run as fast as these guys down to the other end. I mean, they, 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 you know, there's nobody down there. The all five men are right there. And I will point out to you that I don't like this pass uh, because it's it's too low. This guy could have just as easily been out in here someplace after he gets the ball and secures it. You know, he's got good speed. He could have been out here. It would give him a big jump. But we'll watch it. And they all say... Pretty much now, you're walking it down. It's pretty much against a... Uh, a set defense. Uh, I just wanted to see you that I, I just have a real problem with how they're playing offensive rebounding uh, right now. So uh, that's it for this uh, this shot.